Let's get it. You know, I'm checking out this comment, and this guy keeps going back and forth. But see, you know, your your spell of white Jesus and that whole doctrine is over with. You know, you being able to just come in and just say whatever you want, and people just listen to you with no receipts. Um, that's a wrap. That's done. Now, this guy's comment: the catching away of the overcomers is just a, before the apostate church is thrown into tribulation for seven years. Now, you know, I've kind of been gone back and forth with this guy on this video, uh, on his comment, comment before, for a couple, you know, for a minute here, entertain him for a little bit, just kind of see where he's going with it. And he's like, whoa, I was like, well, who are the overcomers exactly? Um, you guys keep talking about, oh, you guys just throw these words out, the overcomers or, or overcoming what he says about overcoming sin or overcoming the the church or whatever i'm like bro that's your church how can you overcome your church as soon as you go into white jesus he has died for my sins he's going to rapture me up that's your apostate church that is your church of satan okay that is the you don't have to pay for the uh you know for your actions you don't have to pay for the actions of your forefathers that is the whole church and he's like you know and he's like talking about ah, i don't know man I, i'm he said, I'm not part of that church, or I'm not part of this. And I'm like, you are part of it. There are only two churches. There is a church of the Most High, the called out group of the Most High's people, and everybody else. So I don't care if you want to say, I'm not Catholic, I'm not Christian, I'm not this, I'm not that. You are all those things because you're just part of the harlot system um, that has been set up here. You are part of a system that believes that you do not have to uh, pay for anything that has happened to my so-called people, you know, and you're going to get, you know, so this whole thing with overcomers, overcomer, what have you overcome? You have raped, robbed, murdered, and stolen everything. You have set up all the religions, all the governments worldwide. So what exactly is an overcomer? Because now you might say that you don't agree with the system all of a sudden, and now you're an overcomer, and now you deserve to be raptured up while all the while you've been enjoying the benefits of this society. Now, you can't enjoy the benefits of society, and now all of a sudden you see society crumbling. Now all of a sudden people are like wanting to be truthers all of a sudden. Now all of a sudden they want to be talking about, oh, this is, you know, this is bad. This is the Babylonian system, blah, blah, blah. Last night, um, Paul from Off Grid, uh, I put a post in the community section, go check it out, because the information that he was talking about was, I had done a video of almost five to six years on talking about Rome being the um, religious center of the world, um, England being the financial system, and that America was the military wing of Babylon. And it's funny because all of a sudden he was talking about that last night on his video, around the 25 minute mark of, of in the video he did last night. If you go around there, he'll, he'll start talking about that whole thing. And it's funny because it's like, well, that comes from Second Esdras. The whole three-headed eagle and all that other stuff. That all comes from Second Ezra. Now, if you haven't, you know, you don't, you know, you don't believe the other books are good, but you're at now espousing the um, breakdowns from these books, from these other books. So I put that out there just kind of, uh, in the comment section last night. I doubt YouTube even uh, let people know that it's there. But you guys can go check that out on your own on my YouTube section and go to the community section. And you can see I put the video up that I did like almost six years ago. Um, and that's the thing. You guys, you, you Constantine Christians are, are trying to catch up now. We've been talking about these kinds of things for years. And you've been able to just ignore us because you were in your blessing. Now that you see that your blessing is falling apart, you don't have, you have nothing. All you, all you guys have, all you guys do is just say the same things over and over again. So even when in the comment boards, it's always the same thing. Oh, you black Hebrew Israelites, you worship yourselves. That's, I was looking at this one uh, thread yet, uh, earlier. And, and everything is all of us so-called uh, black people say we're the Jews. We're just BHI, BHI, because you want to put us into some kind of a category. Well, that's fine. We can put you guys into a category, too. Uh, liars, cheaters, murderers, rapists, liars, um, usurping someone else's um, heritage. Um, we can we can do the same thing because that's what. But see, your guys are guilty of that. You guys are guilty of all those things because that's what your religion has done. That's what your societies have done, and you've been just fine with it um, as long as you were getting the blessings. But after 2019, I'm seeing these people popping up with videos. Everything changed after 2019, all of a sudden, because now they're realizing that there's no going back to the way things used to be. 
right? There's no going back to you guys being the same. You're the overcomers and you've overcome absolutely nothing. You guys haven't overcome overcome anything. You have been the ones. How can you be the the ones who are the destroyers? So you guys loved when you guys were considered the strong ones, the destroyers, the mighty ones, and this, this, this. Now you guys love that history. But see, now all of a sudden, now it's not playing. That's not playing well for you. So now all of a sudden, you want to be the victims, and you want to be the people that need to be saved. And I'm like, saved from who exactly? Saved from yourselves? Saved from your blessings? I mean, we're the ones who have been at the bottom. We're the ones that you have never allowed to have be in the boardroom to have a voice. And now all of a sudden you want to be the overcomers. When you overcame our people for a time, you had the blessing for a time. That's what you overcame. You overcame the Israelites for a time. But now your time is over with. So you were overcomer when you first got here in 1492. You overcame our people. You put us at the bottom. Right? You don't get to be the overcomers again here at the end in a system that you set up. That's not how this works. You have to pay for the system because you went way too far. So again, the catching away of the overcomers is just before the apostate church is thrown into the tribulation for seven years. Your apostate church has been here for hundreds of years. You know, it was funny because like even Paul was like, the, the Catholic church, the Romans never left. They've always been here. They just transformed. Is that not what we have already been telling you? That you worship Rome. You worship the Greeks. You worship Satan, right? They, they were the ones, the Greeks and the Romans were the ones who destroyed the true Israelites. They were the ones that, um, you know, allowed, didn't, uh, stole our inheritance, stole our identity, and gave it to others. And, and it's funny because they always say, well, I, I love America, I, but, but America is doing bad things. I mean, America has been doing bad things. So you guys loved America when they were giving you the dainties. You loved America and the system, this Babylonian system, when you were able to enjoy the benefits from it. Now, now all of a sudden, now you're not getting those benefits anymore. Now you're starting to bring out their dirt. All the while, you're still not trying to take that next step and say, like, well, who have we been doing these bad things to? Who, who are the people that were in charge before? Who were the people that the Most High was dealing with before the Greeks and the Romans? See, those are the things you guys don't want to touch. But that's okay. We'll touch on it for you. Okay? We are those people. You can call us BHI. You can try to minimize us by, um, you know, like what you guys, you guys always do. You don't deal with the information. You just try to throw names out there. And that's cool. We can just call you guys, you know, liars, cheaters, rapers, murderers, um, you know, whatever. We can do exactly the same thing you're doing. See, that, that's what happens now is that we have a voice. We didn't have a voice before. And you guys are all hating the fact that you are not the overcomers. We are the ones that are overcoming your satanic system. We are the ones that are overcoming the lies and the deceit that you guys have pushed for thousands of years. We are the true overcomers that are breaking away from the apostate church as well as his apostate system. Okay? Much love. Shalom.